My name is John. I was uh, diagnosed at a tender age of about two with uh, asthma, as it was called then. And it wasn't until 40 years later I was told, in fact, it was aspergillus, you know, a fungus-related uh, infection, and I had something called ABPA. Of course, when I was first diagnosed, it was at the end of the Second World War, and there were no effective treatments except smoking uh, burning herbs, which didn't do too much good. And as a result, I lost maybe a third of my school time, which uh, obviously caused problems. And really, um, played no sport, could do very little sport. And uh, as I became older, inevitably uh, the situation got somewhat worse, which meant that I'd spend a significant amount of time un unable to walk very far or, or to do very much. And when I was 40, it was diagnosed as ABPA, and I was put on uh, doses of steroids. And of course then, which was the uh, early 1980s, the theory was if a dose of steroids didn't work, you doubled it. Now, that had some unfortunate side effects. And it's really only in the last four or five years that I've been treated with antifungal drugs. And they have made a most remarkable dis difference to my life. I'm now uh, 70 next year, I'm still working, I'm able to walk, to cabby, carry heavy bags, um, and frankly without uh, the, 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 the steroid, the antifungals I'm on, I'd be taking much higher doses of steroids with the consequent risk of side effects, or I would simply not have the quality of life that I do. So I'm extremely grateful both to the NHS and to, and to science for the development of these new systems that have been really transformational in terms of quality of life.